The mid-season patch for Overwatch slapped us with some interesting balancing changes, like both Torbjorn and Symmetra turrets being nerfed. Let's have a look. Hey guys, I'm Damesies from the Omnic Past. The mid-season patch. That big update where Blizzard cracks their fingers, they find new ways to upset players, after which they spent the rest of the season high-fiving each other. <laughs> this time around, the heroes that are on the receiving end of this big balancing wedgie are Torbjorn Symmetra and Zenyatta, who technically does not wear underwear, which is interesting. Or it's not. But more about that in a second. The balancing changes, not the underwear. First, let's have a look at the winners of this balance exercise. First and foremost, Orisa and Reinhardt. Blizzard had already said that they were going to do something about their frontline capacity, which they did. Orisa's Fortify has better damage reduction, and Reinhardt, while his shield got 200 extra health. Other tanks on the list are Ramatra, whose Ravenous Vortex now passes to enemy players, but still not to barriers. And Wrecking Ball, whose manual reload time, so not the automatic one, was reduced. Surgeon spread was reduced, and the number of shots it takes to get to that maximum spread was bumped up. Soldier's damage and healing output was raised slightly, and Kiriko's Ofuda recovery time was lower. Now, that was all of the good news. Let's dive into the not so good news. And let's start with Zenyatta. We knew that they were oogling his Discord door for a nerf, and they should did. According to the developer, these changes should make it a little riskier to apply the Discord door. What? The stench of high level play is all over this. There's no way that this is an issue and anything below masters. But hi, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. And then there's third gate, where Blizzard seeks to make Symmetra less situational and Turbion less lazy. Don't get mad at me, that's what Blizzard said. Kinda. I'm paraphrasing. They're moving some of the power of the turrets into the rest of their kit. For Symmetra, for instance, the damage on the turret was almost cut in half. Now she'll be able to see the targets that her turrets hit. I'm pretty sure that either me or someone in my comments suggested this last year when I did a video on Symmetra. Not sure anymore. Sometimes I just dream that I make a video. It's weird. Really weird. And beyond that, her secondary fire will do more direct damage and explosion damage. From what we have seen, it is a serious bump up that could take out Squishies pretty fast when she's in the right hands. However, the thing that stands out the most, and I wasn't mentioned in the patch notes initially, is that she can regenerate up to 30 shield health every single second when her primary fire does damage to shields and barriers. She can leech shield health. I mean, in the right hand, she's going to be as disruptive as Reaper at this point. So I guess Third Gate had a bit of a, a plot twist. Although, Torbjorn definitely drew the shortest shot. When it comes to Torbjorn, the third damage was kind of cut back by, let's say, a fourth. And the cooldown was increased. And to counter that, they reduced the spread on his secondary fire by 0.5%. He'll also reload six shots when he uses Overload. Look, I personally imagined that the buffs to his kit would have been a little more substantial. I'm kind of worried about old Torb. But what do you guys think? Do you like these changes? Let me know in the comments. Join me during my streams on twitch.tv slash and make sure to subscribe for more updates on Overwatch.